Welcome to the Retro Graveyard, the show where each week we take a different piece of old discontinued video game hardware back from the grave to give it a retrospective. And this week, we're going to be taking a look at the Game Boy Camera. The Game Boy Camera, or the Pocket Camera as it was known in Japan, was released in North America on June 1, 1998 for a suggested retail price of $49.95. It's an official Nintendo accessory for the Game Boy that is a game cartridge with a built-in digital camera. The 1999 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records named it the world's smallest camera. It may seem a little silly now, but this was one of the coolest things ever at the time, and I remember really wanting one of these things as a kid. The actual camera itself even articulates into a front-facing camera. That's right, Nintendo invented the selfie. It came in four standard colors, and also a golden special edition Zelda one. You have to remember, not a lot of people owned a digital camera in 1998. Sure, they existed, and they were a lot better than this thing, but they were expensive and they didn't come close to matching the quality of film. That being said, the Game Boy Camera wasn't meant to compete with either of those. It was in a category all its own. It was a not-to-be-taken-seriously accessory for the Game Boy. In fact, it's more of a game than a camera so I'm not going to mercilessly insult this thing's ability to perform as a consumer camera. As you can see, the picture quality isn't anything spectacular. It takes four color grayscale images. Four shades of gray, that's it. Like the rest of the Game Boy games. The camera's image sensor is capable of taking pictures at a resolution of 256 by 224, but they're scaled down to fit the Game Boy screen. The image sensor itself is actually a CMOS sensor manufactured by Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi calls it the artificial retina because of its ability to process the image as well as capture it. The thing is great for hackers and robotics hobbyists as the Game Boy camera is easy to take apart and the camera unit itself houses the chip, provides the optics, and brings all the signals to a connector, making it really easy to use as a standalone component. In fact, creative people did lots of cool things with the Game Boy camera. They figured out how to take color pictures, they figured out how to get picture files off of the cartridge, some people even made experimental films with the Game Boy Camera. There's also a Neil Young album cover that was shot with it. Anyway, it wouldn't be fair to judge the Game Boy Camera based on the pictures I'm showing you from in here. I'm sure it'll perform at its best outside. Hey, truck. It's kinda cool. How about Hamilton's party headquarters? Oh, that just shows up in black, really. It's not looking too good. Graffiti. Still just looks like gray blobs to me. definitely not useful as a actual camera. It's not like we didn't know that though. The Game Boy Camera was the last Nintendo product to feature a built-in camera until the release of the DSi a decade later. They planned on having a sequel called the Game Eye for the Game Boy Advance that would feature a color sensor and GameCube connectivity, but it never saw the light of day. Nowadays, Nintendo seems to really like the whole camera idea. They put them in everything. But that about does it for the Game Boy Camera. If you had one of these things, be sure to let me know what you thought of it, and if you liked this video, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe, as there is much more Retro Graveyard to come. Thanks for watching.